just wait for a while. I request you all to join the meeting as early as possible. And you pass this message to your friends also, those who are outside the meeting. <coughs> okay. The recording part will start within a few seconds. Okay, it is started now. Once again, I welcome you all for the first lecture of skill development. Today, we all are here for the purpose of skill development. And uh, as you know that, the skill development is the most important and compulsory aspect for your degree. As you know that you are in <coughs> final year of PG or post graduation, that is MCOM. It means you are in MCOM part two. So in this MCOM part two, you will have to complete this uh, skill development one and one more is there in next semester. Uh, when we'll start your second semester, it could be the fourth semester. In that uh, semester also, you will have one more skill development part and that could be called as skill development part two. So skill development part one we are starting and the topic which we have chosen for the purpose of skill development is insurance counselor. So see there are uh, <coughs> different counselors we can see outside tax consultant, tax counselor, even investment counselor. So similar sort of type is also there and that kind of type is called as insurance counselor. And this one is the topic which we guys have chosen for the purpose of skill development. Under this particular span, we are planning to take 20 lectures of skill development. And apart from 20 lectures, you will have one more examination also in the last uh, day of your schedule. So already is uh, everything is scheduled by the <coughs> coordinator. <coughs> and now we all are here for the first lecture. And the first lecture is given to me only and I'm conducting my lecture. So before starting, let me tell you one thing. Actually, tomorrow is also having one lecture for me, but uh, tomorrow I'm going on a leave. So why uh, I thought, why don't I take two lectures today? So I'm taking two consecutive lectures one by one. And actually the second lecture was there for Shah sir, but Shah sir is taking two consecutive lectures tomorrow. This one is the only change that you guys have to remember. At 12.40, I will give you a break of five minutes. And after five minutes, you guys have to join again for the second lecture. I have to tell you a little bit about it. I have to tell you a little bit about it. I have to tell you a little bit about it. I have to tell you a little bit about it. I have to tell you a little bit about it. I have to tell you a little bit about it. उद्या मात्र जे शहासरांचं माझं लेक्चर होतं ते शहासर दोन लेक्चर सुद्धा घेतील म्हणजे आजचं शहासरांचं सुद्धा मीच घेतोय आणि उद्याचं माझं शहासरां शहासर स्वतः घेतील म्हणजे दोन लेक्चर उद्या शहासरांचे असतील आणि दोन लेक्चर तुम्हाला आज माझे असतील असा हा आजचा बदल आहे तो सर्वांनी लक्षात घ्या बारा चाळीस झाल्यानंतर मी तुम्हाला एक ब्रेक देईन त्यानंतर पुन्हा अजून आपण पाच मिनिटांनी जॉईन करणार आहोत दुसऱ्या लेक्चरसाठी सो दिस इज अ वे ऑफ टुडेज प्रोसिडिंग और दिस वन इज अ टुडेज प्लॅन so I hope you guys have understood what I meant to say. <coughs> so starting with the subject and the starting with the point which is given to me. As we know that um, the topic which we guys have chosen for the skill development is none other than insurance counselor. I think we guys have seen different types of insurance insurance counselor outside. There are different types of insurances also. And we are going to uh, talk about all those insurances in a thorough manner. So I once again request you all to please allow me to share my screen so that I can show you my PPT, whatever I have made for you guys. Uh, I'm going to share my PPT. Please let me know whether my screen is visible or not. Is my screen visible? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. OK, now you can see my screen. So here is my screen. And uh, the topic uh, which is chosen for functions and principles, right? This is the topic. Okay. <coughs> okay just a minute. Let me see whether it is functions or principles or thing. Or... Okay. Just a minute. No doubt. So we have uh, two things to do. And uh, I think second lecture have opened. Okay, I'm starting with first lecture. So this is my first topic, which is given to me. 
and the topic which is assigned to me is uh, two points I'm going to cover and those two points are principles of insurance as well as I'm going to cover one more that is functions of insurance so these are the two things I'm going to cover in my in these two lectures so the first lecture I'm starting and the topic which is given for me for the first lecture is principles of insurance so see uh, whatever concept is there whatever concept we see around us all all those um, you know uh, concepts are depend upon the depend upon uh, what do we call it certain principles even when we talk about ourselves also there was to the upon up there but this is the bull to there was to the upon kedi kedi as month to keep my just what the chikai principles that much what the chikai to do it so wherever sort of business is there whatever sort of business is there there are certain principles of those business there are certain principles of those firms there are certain principles of those organizations also if you take an example of educational institutions also if you take an education if you take an example of PC college bar, PC college also there are certain principles that we follow at the time of admission at the time of giving results at the time of getting students admitted in our college and so on so n number of things that we uh, think that we talk about whenever it is there when it comes to the principle so principle 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 is what a principle is nothing but what the things that we strictly follow in our organization so here in today's session we are going to talk about principles of insurance so before going to start the principles of insurance let me ask you one simple question what do you mean by insurance and why insurance is taken i think uh, you guys are totally aware with the concept of insurance because you know in our family also some of them they have taken life insurance policies some of them they are having bikes and vehicles for bikes and vehicles also we go for insurance policy even if you we have a bike you, if we have a car or anything else which is called as vehicle for that also we go for insurance we take insurance policy so whenever we take certain sort of insurance policies for ourselves there are different principles we follow even principles are made according to the insurer and insurer the person who insure is called as insurer and the person who is going to get the insurance is called as insurer so these are the two parties which are involved in the process of insurance insurance mele don lok astat insurance ghenara ani insurance denara जी कंपनी कि जी व्यक्ति कि जी फॉर्म इन्शुरस देते अपन इन्शुरस मन तो जैसे इन्शुरस अपन का इन्शुर ही मन तो दिस इज द टू थिंग्स और दिस इज द टू पार्टीज विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ इन्शुरस सो सी वॉट एवर प्रिंसिपल्स वी हैव मेड फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ इन्शुरस दोज प्रिंसिपल्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी सो यू टेल मी वाय देर इज अ नीड ऑफ गेटिंग इन्शुरस वाय इन्शुरस इज टेकन इज देर एनी आइडिया फॉर यू गाइज वॉट यू थिंक वाय इन्शुरस इज टेकन what insurance does for us insurance apply sathi kay karta sagani bole se everybody has to answer as it is a skill development <clears throat> to reduce financial damage good insurance is helpful to reduce the financial damages correct very good insurance is there to reduce the financial damages correct and this is what we go for insurance as far as you know general insurance is concerned we go for the insurance because of because we want to reduce financial damages right answer no doubt very good okay anything else that you want to say or others that you want to say ajun kay asu shakto what we do we know that our life is full of full of what risk if we step outside you know if we step outside from the home risk factor will start there are different types of risk if you travel if you walk if you run if you you know go outside so our entire journey when we step out of step out from the house then everywhere we can see the risk and if we want to reduce the risk there is there should be an insurance insurance reduces the risk getting my point insurance reduces the risk the main principle the main motive behind getting or behind taking insurance is nothing but what we try our level best to reduce the risk and this is what insurance policies are taken insurance are uh, taken by the people 
whatever sort of insurance we are taking there are different types of insurance we are going to see in the next lecture so before going to see what sort of principles of insurance are there so let me know from your end as i told you we are going to see each and everything or each and every type of insurance in the next lecture which will start from 1250 to 130 so see uh, what do you know what do you know about this what are the types of insurance that you know insurance prakar tumhala maiti asel kon kon the insurance prakar ad maiti tumhala for example health health insurance okay property property insurance okay medical medical and health both are correct both are same apart from that you also go for life insurance right jeevan bima lic life insurance corporation so that is also a part of insurance life insurance we take the insurance of our life if we die because of n number of reasons then our family member gets the benefit of that but we get benefit of life insurance after the death that is the only problem otherwise it is very good we get life in benefit of life insurance after the date only a death only and who are there to get the benefit our family members they get the benefit of our death through insurance policy okay life insurance is also there apart from this try to say something you guys are in mcom now so i am expecting these answers from you guys so health insurance hello sorry vehicle insurance which is called as general insurance whatever insurance we take for vehicle car then bike and so on that particular insurance is called as general insurance correct which is taken for the general purpose apart from this do you know something apart from this one more is left i think two three more in types of insurances are left that we take in business organizations so we have gone for mediclaim mediclaim medical insurance health insurance life insurance and general insurance we have seen two more types of insurances we have not seen so far any idea about this two sir sir marine Hello? insurance correct marine insurance sir, marine. The, correct correct very good pawan na i think this one is pawan yes sir yes, yes sir. i recognized you by your voice man <coughs> pawan once again we are going to meet in the classes after your credit system and skill development so very soon we are starting your offline lectures for the next semester okay so uh, marine insurance is also there which is also called as marine insurance and one more is left that is fire insurance we also take fire insurance policies to protect our property protect our business protect our house from the fire so this is all fire insurance is also taken so these are the types of insurances which we have and uh, we go for that but today we are not going to talk about in this lecture about the types of insurances we are talking about principles of insurances principles in nothing but what that way so see you on uh, the contract or the agreement of insurance is made between the insurer and the insurer the person who is going to take the interview and the person who is going to uh, allow the insurance policy or giving the insurance policy there is a contract or the contract is made between these two parties so whatever party are involved there are two parties manus gen insurance genera and insurance viknara so there is one agreement between these two uh, parties so that agreement is made on certain principles and those principles we are going to see why those principles are required because we are going to make one agreement or we are going to make an agreement we are going to make one contract and whenever there is a need to make one contract certain principles are required certain things should be very much clear in the mind of both the parties and the certain disclosures are expected from both the parties and those disclosures those things which we or they want to make it clear in everybody's mind and those things those uh, you know uh, disclosures can be called as principles of insurance so friends in this lecture we are talking about principles of insurance in a detailed manner so moving on to the next one and here we are going to see what are those and what are they see basically what i am talking about see there are uh, six seven uh, six uh, types of in uh, insurance principles one by one we are going to see the first one is utmost good faith the first principle of insurance is utmost good faith then second one is insurable interest 
then indemnity then sub subrogation mitigation and causa proxima nearest cause so these are the six principles of every type of insurance or these are the principles of insurance and all these principles we are going to see one by one in our first lecture and in the second lecture we are going to talk about functions of in, uh, insurance in a detailed manner so starting with the principles again you can see the types of principles which we are going to see as far as insurance is concerned so there are again as i told you seven or six so those are i'm i'm repeating again the principle of loss minimization as somebody said at the beginning only we tried to minimize or reduce the financial losses and whenever you want to minimize the losses that are expected we need to go for insurance policy the second <coughs> principle is what the principle of utmost good faith we are going to see all these principles one by one with certain examples there is no need to worry just i'm giving an idea about it brief idea about it so the principle of insurance is totally depend upon is totally you know made on the basis of another uh, principle that is good faith there should be a faith of both the parties which are involved in the process of insurance as i told you there are two parties which are always involved in the process of insurance so those two parties should have utmost good faith on each other if there is no faith there is no need to go for the insurance the principle of insurable interest so this one is another principle and here they are taking care of their interest of each other next one is principle of indemnity this one is the most important what is indemnity i'm going to tell you what sort of indemnity or why it is called as indemnity and how it is called as indemnity so that we are going to see whenever we are going to see this principle in a precise manner then principle of contribution see there is a contribution from both the end there is a contribution from both sides as i told you two parties are involved insurer and insurer so they have to contribute and this kind of principle of contribution is called as principle of contribution another one is what principle of subrogation so what is this subrogation that also i'm going to talk about by giving some examples so this one is just an idea about the principle of subrogation the next one is the principle of proximate cause again this word is a little bit you know uh, new for you guys what sort of this principle of proximate cause is there that also we are going to see in a thorough manner so these are the seven principles which we are going to see in today's session and uh, no doubt in first today's first session and in second session as i told you we are going for functions so we are going to see what is this principle of utmost good fact so people uh, you know as i told you people they go for the insurance because they believe on each other even the insurance company is also going to believe on the person whatever they are showing whatever they are disclosing whatever they are you know presenting in front of them representing in front of them even the person who is taking insurance is also going to believe also going to show good faith on the insurance company and when this kind of mutual understanding is there between the company and the person who is taking insurance which is called as insurer that's sort of principle when they follow for the each other it is called as principle of utmost good faith i'm talking about the contents which are written here and i'm going to explain those contents one by one so just look at this a higher degree of honesty is imposed on an insurance contract than is imposed on other contract see as i told you whenever you want to go for the insurance for example if you are you are taking health insurance so at the time of taking health insurance they ask you some question the person who is taking your or who is offering you health insurance or the company which is offering you a health insurance policy they will ask some questions and you guys have to answer those questions in a honesty with honesty or higher degree of honesty if you try to deceive them that is not expected and that is not a part of what utmost good faith so if you want to follow or if the parties wants to want to follow the principle of utmost good faith then as a insurer means the person who is taking insurance has to disclose whatever is the actual one suppose i am taking health insurance policy and if i am hiding my diseases that i have for example i am 
if i'm having bp sugar and all those things and if i'm telling that all those things are not with me even they go for the test and everything they are also brilliant so if i try to hide it is not a part of honesty it is a part of deceiving so this is what in case of this utmost good faith what is expected in whenever they want to make a contract of insurance both the parties they have to go for higher degree of honesty and that higher degree of honesty is imposed in the contract and then only the contract is made it means what they are going to trust each other whatever insurance insurer is saying insurer is going to you know trust on that even whatever insurer is going to say in that case insurer is also going to trust on him so there is a honesty from both the end not from the one end only and that when that honesty is there it becomes at most good faith another one is honesty is mainly imposed on the insurance applicants see the person who is making an applicant or application for the purpose of getting insurance policy honesty is mostly imposed on him only because he is going he is the only person who is going to uh, give some sort of declaration as far as things are concerned if i am taking insurance policy for my vehicle so i have to say something i have to show honesty at the time of providing information for my vehicle if i am taking health insurance so i have i only know what sort of diseases i have neither ekad health insurance policy get as it तर मला असणारे आजार मलाच माहिती असतात बाकीच्यांना कोणाला माहिती नसतं सो आय शुड बी व्हेरी मच ऑनेस्ट ॲट द टाइम ऑफ टेलिंग द इन्फॉर्मेशन ॲट द टाइम ऑफ रायटिंग ऑर फिलिंग अप द फॉर्म अँड वॉट एव्हर आय फील वॉट एव्हर आय हॅव आय हॅव टू मेन्शन ऑल दोज थिंग्स अँड इफ आय मेन्शन दॅट डेफिनेटली इट इज कॉल्ड ॲज ऑनेस्टी अँड द लास्ट वन इट इज सपोर्टेड बाय थ्री लिगल डॉक्टरायन्स सो ऑनेस्टी इज सपोर्टेड बाय थ्री लिगल डॉक्टरायन्स थ्री लिगल ऑस्पेक्ट्स आर देअर and by talking about those three legal aspects honesty can be supported which are the representations whatever you are going to represent while making the contract while making an agreement it is called as representation then colignment again it is the part of what whatever you are going to use in terms of supporting documents those are also there and that is called as what colignment and the last one warranty so warranty is also expected see whenever you take one policy from the insurance company insurance company is going to provide a warranty of damage if damages are taken place then they will try to provide you a warranty for those damages if you take a health insurance if you uh, get admitted in the hospital for any purpose in hospitalization purpose then they are going to provide a warranty of your medical bill so this kind of the principle of uh, utmost faith is depend upon these three legal doctrines and this is what this particular principle is called as principle of utmost good faith i hope you guys have understood what i meant to say so here we get have seen the principle of utmost good faith so what you need to remember in a simple manner utmost fair good faith is nothing but what higher degree of honesty is, is expected from both the end both means what the person who is taking the insurance and the person who is offering the insurance so it is expected from both the things so that was the first principle which we guys have seen now moving on to the second principle of insurance that is principle of insurable interest so see so we are going to see we are going to cover we are going to talk about the interest of the parties which are involved to see and this is what this particular principle is called what principle of insurable interest so what is this insurable that also we are going to see and what is this insurable interest that also we are going to see so whatever contents i have written i am going to talk about those contents and i am going to explain those contents one by one so just pay your attention and try to understand the second principle of insurance which is called as principle of insurable interest just look at this the insured must have the person who has taken the insured policy or insurance policy is called as insured the person who has taken the policy is called as insured the insured must have an insurable interest in the subject matter of insurance whatever is the subject matter of insurance that particular person who has taken the policy must have interest then so insurable interest means what that i am going to tell you 
that is he or she must be benefited by its safety or be prejudiced by its loss so see uh, as somebody said at the beginning only we take insurance policies for for, for the purpose of reducing financial damages or financial loss so see if i go for the insurance policy what is my interest why should i go for health policy because i want to minimize my medical bills in future this is my interest if i go for the insurance of my vehicle or my car or my bike what is my interest my interest is very much clear what is that interest i want to reduce the loss that i may bear in future because of an accident इन्शुरस इंटरेस्ट का उद्देश्य का हेल्थ पॉलिसी घेन कि मेडिकल इन्शुरस घेन तो मैं भविष्य मध्य जर का मेडिकल बिल्स आए तो कमी वावे मैं मैं कार इन्शुरस जर घेन इफ आई एम टेकिंग इन्शुरस फॉर माई कार वॉट विल बी द इंटरेस्ट और इन्शुरेबल इंटरेस्ट द इंटरेस्ट इज वेरी मच क्लियर इफ आई मेट एन एक्सिडेंट अनफॉर्चुनेटली देन द लॉस विल बी रिड्यूस्ड और देर शुड बी अ मिनिमाइजेशन ऑफ लॉस so that is the insurable interest then uh for example i have given here for example you can insure your own home but not your friend's home and see the person who is actually taking the insurance policy that person should have his own interest you cannot take insurance policies for your friend's home on your name but you can take insurance policies for your home on your own home own name that is expected you can take insurance policies for your own car not for others car getting my point you can take for others car but on their names not your own name so this is the only thing and that is called about insurables interest another one in the same way you can take out assurance on your bank your wife's life but not on that of your neighbor's wife getting my point so this is a way and here we can talk about insurable interest insurable interest means what the cause and the ultimate motivation behind taking the insurance policy and i think from this insurable interest we can understand we go for insurance because we want to we have that fear of something in our mind insurance kay get to apan aplya manat ek bhiti hai mi jar car insurance nahi ghetla majha car lavda kay jhal tar te loss kon bear karna mi health insurance nahi ghetla udya mi admit jhalo tar te sundha yanar bhi सात लाख आठ लाख कस मी बेर करना सो दिस इज वॉट वी गो फॉर द इन्शुरस एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग विच इज देर इन योर माइंड विच इज फॉर अबाउट इन्शुरेबल इंटरेस्ट गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सो दिस इज द सेकेंड प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इन्शुरस विच वी गैज हैव सीन टूडे एंड नाउ दिस वॉट इज अ थिंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ लॉस मिनिमाइजेशन एज समबडी सेट एट द बिगिनिंग ओनली वी गो फॉर द इन्शुरस बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू मिनिमाइज the losses or expected losses or unexpected losses you cannot say expected unexpected things are happening unexpectedly we met an accident unexpectedly it's unexpectedly as kad jale ka amala vatlo sudha accident hoil nahi but unexpected pane accident hoto unexpected pane kai goshti ghadtat ani te mala apnala loss bear karav lagto so the another principle of insurance is we try to minimize we try to go for minimization of losses how by taking insurance policy suppose in normal or in general term in normal condition suppose you guys have not taken insurance policies for your health and you got sick or you and you got admitted in the hospital and the bill amount or the amount of bill of hospital is 9 lakhs for example this is the first condition this is which is called as normal condition and the another condition is what you guys have taken insurance policy and uh, that is up to rupees 5 lakhs and you got sick you got hospitalized and the bill of uh, medical or medical bill is 9 lakhs so here you can save your 5 lakhs no so insurance company will pay on your behalf rupees 5 lakhs to the hospital but in that case you need to pay only 4 lakhs but in first case you need to pay 9 lakhs so what we did here we tried our level best to minimize the loss that we have to bear in first case there is no chance to minimize the loss but in second case there is a chance to minimize the loss because we have taken insurance policy and the last loss that we can minimize is rupees 5 lakhs so this is what this principle is followed now i'm <coughs> going to talk about the content which i have written as a part of this uh, slide 
just look at this insured must always try his level best to minimize the loss of his insured property just now i've given the example suppose you have taken one fire insurance policy and something has happened with your business and your entire business burn out so here you can minimize the loss if you have taken a policy which is called as fire insurance policy for your business automatically your losses will be minimized you need to have less losses in that case because company is going to pay for that another one the insured must take all possible measures and necessary steps to control and reduce the losses in such a scenario so whatever is the scenario we try to take some possible measures to reduce and control it then the insured must not neglect and behave irresponsibly during such events just because the property is insured and one more thing that we need to always remember uh, somebody they always used to say that you know you drive whatever how or uh, whatever you want kahi kar apan mantra bala thoda kashi chalo re insurance hai full insurance hai but this kind of you know behavior and negligent or negligence is not expected no doubt if it is going to happen in a normal case it's okay but if you do not go for it purposefully your intention should not should not be there to create or behave irresponsibly it is upon as a base of darwa gun salnar nahi tari apan insurance ghetla asel tar suddha and this way you can go for this principle of loss minimization it is hence it is a responsibility of the insured to protect his insured property and avoid for the losses and the ultimate aim of aim of this principle is what whatever is the insured person has to take care of his property and whatever losses or expected unexpected losses are there those should be avoided by following this principle so in this principle what we guys have seen we have seen about how to minimize the losses no doubt in certain cases losses are definitely there but we are not waiting for that event we are not purposefully going for that event to occur apan to event gadhun anna ka prayatna nahi karaycha nahi tar baraj wala asa hota apan movies madhe wagera bagto picture madhe serial madhe bagto it happens but those are not the principle or this is not the actual principle of insurance the actual principle of insurance talks about that we try to minimize the losses which are unexpected in our life whatever sort of policy we are taking or we are taking doesn't matter at all whether it is fire insurance life insurance or health insurance we try to minimize the loss then principle of indemnity and this one is the new for you all and here i am talking about and uh, actually the concept of insurance is depend upon the principle of indemnity so what is this indemnity what do you mean by indemnity that also i'm going to tell you so see indemnity is given by the insurance company to the insurer or the person who has insured okay so indemnity is nothing but what a guarantee or a warranty or a assurance that we get from the insurance company so see whenever we go to take a take an insurance policy from the insurance company we ask them first question we ask them one first question what is that if i take this much amount of insurance policy what i get apan tanna ekach prashna vicharto ki mi jas mundo 7 lakh ek policy dite mala kay milnar so mala kay milnar that is called as guarantee if they say you will get this much you will get this much mundo tumhi 5 lakh ek insurance policy getle jate ka andar मला काय मिळणार मी समजा सतरा हजाराची पॉलिसी घेतली तर पाच पाच लाख असतो मला गॅरंटी मिळणार पाच लाखापर्यंत बिल आम्ही देऊ यावरती तुम्हाला बेर करावं लागते सो वॉट एव्हर दे आर प्रोव्हायडिंग वॉट एव्हर अशुरन्स दे आर प्रोव्हायडिंग फॉर फाईव्ह लॅक्स वॉट एव्हर गॅरंटी दे आर प्रोव्हायडिंग फॉर फाईव्ह लॅक्स दॅट गॅरंटी दॅट अशुरन्स दॅट यु नो थिंग्स विच इज कॉल्ड ॲज इंडेमिनिटी सो इंडेमिनिटी इंडेमिनिटी इज नथिंग बट वॉट अ गॅरंटी ऑर अन अशुरन्स दॅट वी गीट फ्रॉम द इन्शुरन्स कंपनी so indemnity means a guarantee or assurance to put the insured in the same position in, in which he was in the immediately prior to the happening of uncertain event the insurer undertakes to make good the loss this is what i said see see insurer means for the person who is going to insure is talking about he is trying to less trying to undertake the loss of the insured person and this is what indemnity is given indemnity is nothing but what guarantee they are going to give in writing form once the uncertain thing is happened uncertain event is happened we can claim our guarantee we can claim our policy 
So this is what it is called as indemnity. It is applicable to fire, marine, and other general insurances also. So indemnity is applicable for fire insurance. It is also applicable for marine insurance. It is also applicable for other general insurances also. But indemnity is not applicable for health insurance. Remember. Next, under this insurer agrees to compensate the insured for the actual loss suffered. And here there is a guarantee, or there is a just a part of what we call it. Uh, there is one agreement between the insurer and the insurer, insurer for the purpose of compensation of loss. So through this indemnity, they try to compensate the loss which is suffered by the insured person, and who is going to bear this amount of loss the person who is called or the company which is called the insurer the person who has provided the person who has offered this policy to the person so this one is the principle of indemnity and uh, now we are moving on the next principle and what is that principle of contribution just a minute the principle of contribution is the important function oh, sorry in, important principle and here in this principle, what we are going to see, as I told you, contribution is there from both the end. As there are two parties, so both the parties has to contribute, has to contribute in the compensation. When this question of contribution arises, when this question of contribution occurs, the question of contribution occurs in case of compensation. Wherever there is a problem, wherever there is a issue of compensation, automatically there is a question of what contribution. Or the the problem of problem rises of contribution. So just see what I have given here. So if the insured claims full amount of compensation from one insurer, then he cannot claim the same compensation from other insurer and make a profit. Secondly, if one insurance company pays the full compensation, then it cannot recover the proportionate contribution from the other insurance company. See. Here, what happens most of the time, we go for multiple uh, <coughs> insurance policies. We take multiple insurance policies. Suppose, uh, for example, if I have taken two property insurance policies for one property. Suppose I'm having, I'm having one bungalow in Baramati, and for that bungalow, I have taken two insurance policies. So that bungalow is insured in two different companies or with two different companies. And unfortunately, that bungalow is fired and bungalow is highly damaged. So here, the principle of contribution is what? That particular person, means me, the owner of the bungalow, cannot get the compensation from or cannot get the full amount of compensation from two different companies. Suppose I got uh, the policy that I took from the insurance company was 10, 10 lakhs. 10 lakhs from one company, another from another company, 10 lakhs. So I cannot get 10 lakhs from one company and cannot get from another from another company, 10 lakhs. So this is not the fair practice. So this is what they what they do. If they want to contribute, for example, both the companies can contribute and they can pay 10 lakhs. And when it is happened, it is called as principle of contribution. You cannot deceive to insurance companies. This remember, you cannot deceive to insurance companies. So what you guys have to do, you guys have to make your full amount of compensation or you have to make a claim of full amount of compensation to one company, not to many companies. This is the only uh, thing about this principle, which is called as principle of contribution. Now, the principle of subrogation. What is this principle of subrogation that also I'm going to tell you? So see, I'm going to tell you what is this exactly and just uh, look at the principle now. Subrogation is referred to substitution of the insurer in place of the insured for the purpose of claiming indemnity from a third party for a loss covered by insurance. See, most of the time what happens, you know, uh, we face this problem. Basically, we face this problem in case of uh, uh, general insurance. Uh, a third party get damaged, or because of third party, we get this kind of uh, you know problem, or we get uh, unexpected event. So 
this principle talks about if something has happened because of third party so there is a right for the insured and insurer insurer to get the compensation from third party and it is called the principle of subrogation the insurer can recover from a negligent third party any loss payments made to the insured and here also whatever i told you at the means whatever i told you earlier the same thing is applied so there is a right for insurer to recover the amount of negligent third party person for the purpose of compensation so this is the principle of subrogation and uh, i think okay one more is left that i am going to cover and the last one is what principle of cause proxima or proximity cause of proximity this is also called about principle of proximity cause what is this proximity cause or cause uh, cause of proxima that i am going to tell you by uh, telling the contents of this slide and this could be the last slide the loss of insured property can be caused by more than one cause in succession of to another so see when there is not a single clause sorry cause but there are so many causes and because of that that particular loss has happened and when it is happened it is called about cause of proxima the property may be insured against some causes and not against all causes see there are different clauses suppose there are i think uh, uh, the prop the reason behind taking insurance policy the reasons behind taking policy is 100 but we have not considered those 100 reasons while taking the policy and this is what it is called the property may be insured against some causes if for example we have considered only 50 causes not 100 causes so in that case also this cause of proxima is applicable in such an instant the proximate cause or nearest cause of loss is to be find out so we need to find out or we need to find out the nearest cause or proximate cause of of which or because of that this kind of compensation or this kind of claim is happened and the last one if the proximate cause is the one which is insured against the insurance company is bound to pay the compensation and vice versa see whatever causes you guys have considered at the time of taking insurance policy and because of that it is the loss has happened then the insurance company will pay the amount of compensation otherwise not this is the only thing that we guys have seen about this principle of uh, causa proxima or the principle of proximate clause so here we have done with uh, two uh, functions or principles of insurance and i hope you guys have understood our time is already over and then getting back to the next slide that is i must say thank you for watching this or listening me and here i have covered principles of insurance i'm stopping my presentation and getting back to the home screen and uh, if you have any problem you can ask me your problems and difficulties friends once again we are meeting after 7 minutes only 12 vajun 15 minute ni punna apun dusre lecture sathi betnar aho to parant 5 minute fakt aaram kara and lage dusre lecture la ya mi 5 minute ni punna ajun mi link bandh karat nahi hai tumhi matra तुम्ही सुद्धा राहू शकता आपण लगेच दुसरं लेक्चर सुरू करूयात मी कुठे जाऊ नका फक्त मी पाच मिनिटं आराम
okay uh, it's 12:50 should we start चालू करायचं का आवाज येतोय माझा हॅलो यस सर यस सर ओके ओके सुरू करूया आता आपण ऑलरेडी इट्स 12:50 सो वन्स अगेन आय वेलकम you all for my second lectures and in the second lectures we are talking about functions of insurance in past lecture we guys have been talked about principles of insurance and now i'm talking about principle uh, sorry functions of insurance okay so once again please allow me to share my screen and uh, through that i'm going to show you another presentation is my screen visible yes sir okay okay so now we are talking about the functions of insurance or the insurance and its functions is the topic of discussion so already we have seen the concept of insurance we have seen the uh, functions of insurance sorry we have seen the principles of insurance and now as a part of the topic which is assigned to me the second half i am going to talk about today in my second lecture and that is none other than functions of insurance insurance is also having some functions insurance also is a part of activity as I, as i told you and it has some functions so what are those functions we are going to talk about one by one basically the functions of insurance are categorized in two different category uh, three different categories so what are those three different categories and uh, how and what are those functions under each category we are going to see each and everything one by one so i'm going ahead with my presentation as i told you uh, there are different types of insurances which we guys have seen in the past lecture just i want to revise that and uh, already we guys have gone for all those things but some points were missing so i thought why don't i show you the types of insurances so here the types of insurance are the first one which is very popular and we i think some of them they are aware with this type of insurance only and that is none other than life insurance or personal insurance then another one is just for it just when I'll, I'll i'll stop my presentation listen for one second only and i'll see whether the attendance is updated or not okay updated okay uh, okay can you see my screen now yes sir can you see my screen yes sir okay the type of insurance that we know is life insurance or personal insurance we take insurance for our life and we take insurance for our own which is called as personal insurance then second type of insurance which we guys have seen that is property insurance we have different types of properties we have you know uh, we have bungalows we have land we have different types of properties in terms of even we take insurance for our flat houses even we take insurance for our jewelry and that can be called as property insurance then we go for marine insurance or marine insurance whatever if we suppose for example if we if we are transporting goods from uh, one country to another country or one state to another state or one city to another city with the help of water transport in that case this kind of marine insurance is taken then fire insurance we know that we want to protect our property we want to protect our Uh, property or our belongings from the fire so in that case fire insurance is taken that liability insurance this one is not aware this one is not that much familiar with you all and where we take insurance for our liability how it can be taken i think this one is new for you all but i will give you one example i think we take home loans from the bank and at the time of taking home loan banks are asking you to take um, liability insurance whatever is the loan you have taken from the bank they ask you to take that 
insurance you they ask you to take insurance for loan taken from the bank and through that they protect your liability and when it is taken place it is called as liability insurance then gen guarantee insurance here guarantee is provided and this is what guarantee insurance is taken and the last one that is social insurance here we go for insurance for the social causes and that is called as, that is called as uh, social insurance so these are the types of insurance which we have and uh, we have we are going to talk about all those things one by one there is no need to talk about types of insurance one by one because the topic of discussion is about functions of uh, insurance so we are going to see all those functions which are categorized in three different categories number one is uh, primary insurance number two is secondary and third one is uh, another one which is called as other in other functions so you see here the functions are categorized in three different categories number one is primary functions number two secondary functions number three other functions so what are those primary functions what are those secondary functions and what are those other functions all those things we are going to see in a precise manner and one by one so uh, i think if you look at the title also you can understand primary means what secondary means what other means what primary means main functions no doubt when we talk about the concept of primary functions we can understand primary is nothing but what are main functions or the major functions secondary means what those who are not main but those are the part and parcel of insurance and those can be called as secondary so secondary means what those are not primary and other means what apart from these two whatever functions are left those are categorized in the category of what other functions i hope you guys understood the meaning of primary secondary and others now so the functions of insurance as i told you are categorized in three different categories primary secondary and others so what are there which are there in the concept of primary which are there in the concept of secondary and which are in the concept of other functions those we are going to see one by one so looking at the first one the first one is primary functions so under the category of primary functions uh n number of hello uh, ekas minute na okay so under the concept of uh, primary functions of insurance uh we have covered four different types of functions and those four different types of functions are number 1 provide protection against future risk that is economic loss we call it economic loss we try to uh, protect and this will be the first functions of insurance then collective bearing of risk there is a collective bearing that there is not there is not a single person to bear the risk the risk is bared collectively then assessment of risk risk is assessed and uh, how that sort of assessment is done that also we are going to see in assessment of risk and the last one is provide certainty so in last function of primary certainty is provided as we know that life is uncertain things are uncertain we never know what is going to happen we are not aware what will happen in future so many things are there so <clears throat> if we want to provide a certainty for that then insurance is must so we are go going to cover these four functions under the category of primary moving on to the next category of functions that is the uh, secondary functions and here three types of functions we have covered and which are they and what are they just look at this <clears throat> prevention of losses we try to prevent losses as far as safety instructions are concerned see sorry safe, safety instrument ins, instructions correct okay so here we try to cover we people or n number of things from the losses as far as safety instructions are concerned then small capital to cover larger risk and here we try to you know go for this function by using small capital to cover larger risk no doubt we pay uh, lesser amount for to the insurance company for getting the cover as we know that uh, you know if we go for health insurance of rupees 5 lakhs the premium that we pay for one year is 15 or 16000 or not more than 20000 so in 20000 we are getting a cover of 5 lakhs so this is good one 
next one is what contributes contributes towards the development of larger industries no doubt uh, when we uh, pay something when we take insurance policies and all it is also going to contribute in the larger industries or the development of larger industries it is also useful because this money can be utilized for the purpose of development of the industries and uh, another type of function which we are going to see which is categorized in third category and that category is called as other functions so in other functions what we are going to see we are going to talk about three more functions which are the part and parcel of other functions and the number one is what means of savings and investment means of savings and investment then source of earning foreign exchange and risk free trade so these are the functions we are going to see one by one as i told you there are three major types of functions primary secondary and other functions but under these three categories we are going to talk about ten functions four for primary three for secondary and three for other functions so these ten functions we are going to see one by one as a part of our study so moving on to the first one and that is primary functions of insurance as the name told that as the name explains everything about the concept of primary functions of insurance and that there is no ambiguity in your mind also what could be done or what can be done just look at the title primary means what major functions main functions we are going to see here and those functions can be called as primary functions just look at this what i am going to say see the first function under the category of primary function is providing protection see whenever we take insurance policy from the insurance company basically the insurance policy is taken for the purpose of getting protection we take protection for n number of things so see what they have said insurance policy the function of insurance policy is nothing but what to take protection for different things we take protection by insuring our property by insuring ourselves uh, if we take health insurance it means we are insuring our or we are getting protection from the insurance company for our health if we take proper insurance it means we are taking protections from our for our property from insurance company if we take health uh, sorry vehicle insurance bike insurance it means we are protecting our bike or vehicle if we take uh, insurance for a uh, fire purpose then we are protecting our family or we are protecting our property we are protecting our home from the fire so the main function of insurance company is nothing but what to provide protection for different reasons and insurance there are different type of insurance and they protect for different reasons also so this is the first function under the category of primary functions so what is that i'm going to tell you in a precise manner now just look at this the elementary purpose of insurance is to allow security against future risk and why we want protection because things are unsecured things are insecure things are not secured things are uncertain and this is what we want to go for the protection why we want protection why do we do we want uh, uh, sorry car insurance because we are not sure whether the accident will happen with our car or not this is what we go for uh, you know insurance so the elementary purpose the main purpose of insurance is to allow security against future risk accidents and uncertainty because we are not sure about future risk we are not sure about accidents we are not sure, sure about uncertainty and this is what we go for insurance remember and this is what we want protection the insurance cannot arrest the risk from taking place but can for sure allow for the losses arising with the risk insurance is in reality a protective cover against economic loss by apportioning the risk with others so see i think there is one funda that i would like to tell you see insurance is not a final solution insurance is insurance is not there to stop risk insurance is not there to stop accidents insurance is not there to stop uncertainty but it is definitely helpful for reducing the losses whatever things are whatever losses we are having in our life because of uncertainty because of accident because of risk that we are going to minimize that we are going to reduce 
and that is happened that is possible with the help of insurance so insurance is just a cover insurance is just a protective cover that will protect you from the economic losses that we have there because of uncertainty because of accident because of risk so i remember one sentence one sentence which is the uh, said in mahabharata mahabharata mane ek vakya bhishma mantra pitama bhishma tumhi mahabharata jar baghitla asel tar tumhala lakshat yeil tar mane bhishma kay mantra tumhala lakshat ya ki pratyek mansacha ant nishchit ahe pratyek mansacha ant nishchit ahe pan tachi vel nishchit nahi so same statement is applied by lic in their uh, slogan what they say death is certain death is certain but the date of death is not certain mrutyu atal ahe parantu mrutyu ki tarikh apnas maiti nahi ti nishchit nahi ajun tari mrutyu nishchit ahe mrutyu hona re nishchit hai sagayanche mrutyu hona re che tumcha kay asal kiwa maza kay asal पण कधी होणार हे माहिती नाही अँड दिस इज कॉल्ड अबाउट रिस्क वी ट्राय टू रिड्यूस द रिस्क बाय टेकिंग प्रोटेक्शन व्हाय वी गो फॉर बुलेट प्रूफ जॅकेट वी वॉन्ट टू वॉन्ट टू प्रोटेक्ट अवर सेल्फ फ्रॉम द बुलेट अँड दिस वॉट वी वेअर बुलेट प्रूफ जॅकेट लाईक दॅट सो दिस इन्शुरन्स इज अ बुलेट और दिस सॉरी इन्शुरन्स इज अ जॅकेट दॅट वी आर वेअरिंग फॉर गेटिंग प्रोटेक्शन सो द फर्स्ट फंक्शन ऑफ इन्शुरन्स इज वॉट टू प्रोवाइड प्रोटेक्शन and this what insurance is taking place whatever sort of insurance you are taking to kutlai prakar the insurance kya kutlai prakar the insurance tumhi ghetta doesn't matter at all but the insurance is taken place for the purpose of providing protection or insurance is offered by the insurance company at the same time they provide protection and we also get protection by getting ourselves insured getting my point i hope you guys have understood what i meant to say by understanding these examples now moving on to the second function which is there under the category of primary functions and what is that collective risk bearing see what happens here the risk is transferred actually if we do not take the insurance policy for example we just assume that just think that or just feel that you are not taken any insurance policy you have not taken any insurance policy for your health for your car for your vehicle for your property for your business so there is a risk and who is having or who is having or who is responsible for that risk no doubt you guys are responsible or you only is responsible for that risk so here if you take insurance policy for your property for your vehicle for your health for your business then risk will be collective means you are not the only person who is responsible for the risk company is also responsible for the risk company is also going to bear the loss no doubt you are also going to bear, bear the loss but the percentage of bearing the loss for your end is very less company is going to bear the amount so there is a collective risk samuik risk hai the samuik and this is what it is called about collective risk bearing company is going to bear the risk this is what it is called about collective risk bearing so what it what it exactly that we are going to see just look at the sentences which i have written here insurance is an instrument to share the financial loss somebody said very nicely insurance is nothing but what it is an instrument what it does it does is it shares the financial loss as i told you if you do not take the policy entire loss is yours if you take the policy loss will be shared between you and insurance company so this is what it is called as collective if you take the policy then loss will be shared between two parties you and the insurance company if you do not take it will be yours only to tumcha asel tumhi te bear karna kon dusra lokana deu shaknar nahi ani te jatun tumhala paise mala kon mala nahi for example tumhi ekadi policy getli loss dhala na ala kacha company ne lav lagle tumhala 1 lakh bear karav lagle so collective bearing was there suppose you have not taken any policy but loss is occurred and the amount of loss is 10 lakh you only have to bear 10 lakhs tumhala total 10 lakh rupaye bear karav lagtil jar tumhi nahi ghetli tar so through insurance we can go for collective risk bearing so it is a medium through which few losses are divided among larger number of people all the insured add the premiums towards a fund and out of which the person facing a specific risk is paid so what do we do if we want to 
share our liability if we want to share our losses with the insurance company what can be done just we need to take one policy and for that purpose we need to pay the amount of premiums to the policy this is the only thing or to the company what is the premium we pay to the company company is also interested to share your risk if risk is taken plus then that will be shared among the company and you according to the proportion according to the claim which is applicable to you so this is what we call it uh, as far as second function is concerned it is a collective risk bearing so risk is shared between the parties which are involved in the contract of insurance then you evaluating risk risk is evaluated 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 means what is the comparison purpose see what happened whenever there is a risk that risk can be evaluated generally whenever we uh, ask for the insurance company for the insurance at the same time they start evaluating your risk what sort of risk you have they start examining your they start examining your risk and this is what um this is what uh, <clears throat> this is what we try to evaluate the risk and uh, whenever as i told you whenever we ask to insurance company for the risk they start evaluating your risk how just look at same things insurance fixes the likely volume of risk by assessing uh, diverse factors that give risk to risk risk is the basis for ascertaining the premium rate as well so see how the premium uh, the amount of premium is decided how the amount of premium is determined i think i will give you one nice example of this what is an example of that just look at this see whenever we go for health insurance they ask you certain things what they ask you they ask you your age they ask you your you know diseases that you have tumhala tumche vay vicharta tumche azar vicharta and accordingly they decide your premium even they ask you if you are going for family a health insurance policy they ask you how many members are there in policy if the members are more the amount of premium will be more if the members are less the amount of premium will be less even they ask you in your family how many senior citizens are there according to the ages of family members they decide the premium amount so how they evaluate the risk see those who are aged people tarun lokanna adsne konje vayasku lok astat tanna vegole hazar astat आणि त्यांच्याबद्दल जीवनाची रिस्क खूप जास्त असते तर याचा अंदाज घेऊन किंवा याचं इव्हॅल्युएशन करून तुमचा प्रीमियम ठरतो सो वॉट दे डू एक्झॅक्टली दे ट्राय टू इव्हॅल्युएट द रिस्क सी जे वयस्कर लोक असतात त्यांना मृत्यूची रिस्क जास्त असते त्यातून जर अजून आजार असतील तर अजून जास्त असते तरुणांना इम्युनिटी जास्त असते आजार नसतात त्याच्यामुळे रिस्क कमी असते सो इफ यू गो फॉर अ इन्शुरन्स पॉलिसी ऑर हेल्थ इन्शुरन्स पॉलिसी वेअर there are no senior citizens the amount of policy will be less if you go for a policy where senior citizens are available senior citizens are there the amount of policy will be more comparatively so this way they try to evaluate the risk and they decide the amount of premium and this will be the third function of insurance under the category of primary functions moving on to the next and last function of primary functions category that is provide certainty nishchitta provisarte so they try to provide certainty for certain things what is that insurance is a device which assists in changing uncertainty to certainty as we know that we take insurance policy for the purpose of reducing risk for the purpose of uncertainty and for the purpose of reducing accidents or losses from accidents so through insurance if we take insurance policies then we try to provide certainty for uncertainties and this is what they have said which assist in changing uncertainty to certainty we are changing certainty uncertainty from from uncertainty we are going to certainty anishchitte karun apan nishchitte kade jato hai how with the help of insurance and this one is the function of insurance so here in this function we have seen that with the help of insurance we can provide certainty to uncertainty this one is a way of uncertainty to certainty so this is the last function under the category of primary functions of insurance so in the primary functions of insurance we guys have seen four different functions of insurance 
and those are providing protection we provide protection we go for collective collective risk bearing we go for evaluating of risk and the last one we provide certainty so these are the functions which we have guys have seen as far as primary functions of insurance is concerned the last, next one the second category of functions of insurance are and that is none other than secondary functions of insurance and under the secondary functions of insurance we are going to talk about three more functions and those three more functions are preventing losses second one covering larger risk with small capital and the last one helps in the development of larger industries so one by one we are going to see the first one is what preventing losses as i told you we take insurance for the purpose of prevention insurance policy is for preventive measures we try to prevent ourselves we try to prevent our property we try to prevent our vehicles and uh, even bikes also from the losses so this one is a just a way of prevention and it prevents losses which are uncertain which we cannot see nowadays and if we want to prevent this kind of losses insurance is must one so whatever i have written here i am going to talk about those things insurance warns individuals and businessmen to embrace appropriate device to prevent unfortunate aftermaths of risk by observing safety instructions installation of automatic sparkler or alala system etc so see insurance is nothing but what it is a way of preventing losses and it also wants to the individuals even to the businessmen to take some appropriate decisions to go for or to prevent unfortunate things which are going to happen in the business or in the life of we people or in the life of human beings and through that we can prevent losses which will be there because of uncertain events unexpected events and if we want to stop stop ourselves from uncertain losses uncertain events then insurance is the must one and this is what we call it as far as the first function of secondary functions of insurance that is preventing losses so insurance is a instrument which is used for the purpose of preventing losses basically we take insurance policies to prevent loss erna sav apna loss shon hot nahi mana apan prevent karna sathi ka rokna sathi apan tala insurance jod de tas tu lakshat theva the next one covering larger risk with small capital we try to cover larger risk with smaller amount of capital how it is why it is called as like this what they have called like covering larger risk with small capital no doubt we pay very few amount or we pay very less amount as premium and if we look at the risk which is covered by the insurance company is always better as i told you if we go for health insurance we take health insurance policy of rupees 10000 or 15000 or 20000 not more than 20000 as far as the uh, family is concerned according to our family or number of family members we go for insurance policy and mostly we pay not more than 25000 as insurance amount or policy amount but that 25000 covers the risk of 5 lakhs or 7 lakhs or 10 lakhs so whatever risk they have covered that is the you know larger amount but for that 7 lakhs how much we have paid only uh, 25000 so in 25000 if the risk is actually taken place if the loss is actually taken place company has to pay 7 lakhs to the hospital for the amount of uh, medical bill but uh, you ask that company to pay 7 lakhs in rupees 25000 tumhi 25000 dile 25000 madhe jar loss jhalach jhalna itar vegala bhaga mane pan jhalach तर कोणत्या इन्शुरन्स कंपनीला सहा सात लई काय तुमचे कर्ज होतील किंवा तुमची जेवढी काय अमाऊंट इन्शुअर्ड आहे तेवढे पैसे त्यांना द्यावे लागतात सो दिस इज व्हॉट इट इज कॉल्ड व्हॉट कव्हरिंग लार्जर रिस्क विथ स्मॉल कॅपिटल अँड दिस इज व्हॉट इट इज कॉल्ड एज कव्हरिंग लार्जर रिस्क विथ स्मॉल कॅपिटल इन्शुरन्स असुजेस द बिझनेसमॅन फ्रॉम सेक्युरिटी इन्व्हेस्टमेंट्स दिस इज डन बाय पेइंग स्मॉल अमाऊंट ऑफ प्रीमियम अगेन्स्ट लार्जर रिस्क अँड ड्युबिटी सो हिअर दिस इज व्हॉट आय टोल्ड यू in business also we take insurance policies for stock we take insurance policies for business by uh, smaller amount but something is happened which is wrong then company insurance company has to pay for that 
समझ जर कंपनी मे एखाद दोन कोटी का विमा घा कोटी विमा घाय पेइंग रुपीज वन लैक और टू लैक्स so that if the fire is occurred and the entire stock is burnt then company that insurance company has to pay 2 crores or 5 crores for that by getting only 1 lakh they got actually they got only 1 lakh rupees and uh, in uh, for that 1 lakh rupees premium if something has happened then company has to pay rupees 2 crores or 5 crores for that so this is called about covering larger risk with small capital and the last function under the category of secondary functions Which we are going to see now helps in the development of larger industries. No doubt, whatever amount of insurance we are providing, insurance policy we are providing to the insurance company, that amount is utilized for the purpose of development of larger industries. No doubt, whatever we are paying to the insurance company, it is a part of capital for the nation. It is the capital for the entire industries. It is the capital for the entire nation, and that can be in the amount which we are paying to the insurance company will be circulated. and that will be given to the industry for the purpose of uh, capital so insurance provides an opportunity to develop to those large industries which have more risk in their setting up and even they are also <coughs> insurance companies are also helping larger industries to set up their business and they are also trying to minimize their risks in terms of risk whatever they have so these are the functions and these functions can be called as secondary functions of insurance so three functions we have seen four functions we have seen as far as the first one that was primary three functions we have seen as far as secondary and now the last part we are going to see that is other functions of insurance and in other functions of insurance we are going to cover we are going to talk about four more sub functions and those are here with us the first one is what just look at the first title the first point Sorry. The first one is what? Insurance is a savings and investment tool. See, as far as we people are concerned, those who go for those who go for uh, life insurance. In life insurance, what happens? You know, there is a particular period of life insurance. Even they cover the risk of death also. So, what I am going to tell you? See, as far as the other functions of insurance are concerned the first function what they have said it is a tool of saving and in investment so when we go for life insurance when we take life insurance policy we invest our money with insurance company and when the maturity period is there when our policy get matured we get huge amount from the insurance company for example if we have taken um, 5 lakhs policy if the maturity amount is 10 or 15 lakhs so after 10 or 20 years we get 15 lakhs even our life is actually covered by the insurance company in between something has happened they will pay the amount also so this is the things which is called as what the thing of saving as well as investment so this way we can save our money and we can also create investment for ourselves and this is what it is covered under the function of what other functions then medium of earnings for an exchange so see medium of earning for an exchange see foreign currency is also important for our nation so this one is a way of earning for an exchange and how it can be done just look at this what i told you what i am going to tell you see being an international business any country can earn for an exchange by way of issue of marine insurance policies and a different other ways so see insurance is a way of earning or is a way of collecting for an exchange how it can be done no doubt if a company is a foreign company or if a company is doing a international business basically currency foreign currency is possible in case of what marine insurance when we go for marine insurance policies in marine insurance policies we get foreign currency if we are selling if we are providing this uh, insurance policies to the sri lankan company or us based company then we get their currency so this is a way of getting foreign currency in foreign exchange so it is also useful to get foreign exchange for our nation and this is what it is also important to us the next one third important function of insurance is under the category of other function is risk free trade whenever we get a policy for trade or business purpose there is no risk risk is reduced so this is called this is called as what risk free trade 
Insurance boosts exports insurance, making foreign trade risk free with the help of different types of policies under marine insurance cover. So under the marine insurance policy or under the marine insurance cover, there are so many, you know, schemes which are there as far as insurance boost export insurance. And with the help of that, we can make our tree risk free tree to trade. And uh, this is what it is useful one. Take us a minute. Do you want to phone call? Do you want to phone call? Then insurance provides indemnity or reimbursement. And uh, as I told you, indemnity is the main principle and the first and uh, you know important, not only first, but indemnity is the main and important function or important principle of insurance. So insurance provide indemnity means what guarantee, assurance. Indemnity is nothing but what guarantee and assurance that we get from the insurance company. And what sort of guarantee they give? They give you the guarantee of reimbursement. Whatever amount of policy you have taken in, something has happened. They will provide you the guarantee of reimbursement of those things. And this is what this another function, which is the last function, which is called as insurance provides indemnity or reimbursement. In the event of an anticipated loss or disaster, there are different types of insurance policies under sun cover. Almost anything that one might think of, there are lots, loads of companies who are providing such customized insurance policies. So here, in last function of insurance, we are going to talk about how insurance policy provides or insurance company provides indemnity and the concept of reimbursement. Once something is unexpected thing is or something unexpected thing is some unexpected thing that happened, loss has happened, a disaster has happened, then there is a chance to get the reimbursement from the insurance company in the form of claim. Insurer, the person who has insured has to make a claim because indemnity is given by the company, assurance is given by the company, guarantee is given by the company and in the form of claim they get the they get their reimbursement. So this could or this is the last function where we have understood how the insurance company provides indemnity and reimbursement. So these are the four functions which are there under the category of other functions of insurance. And here all functions are over. So I must say thank you for you all for watching me or listening me or bearing me for 80 minutes consecutively. Thank you very much. I'll get back to my home screen and there I'll see your questions and doubts if questions and doubts are there if you have any question or doubt you can ask me your doubt and question if you do not have then we can proceed further do you have any doubt do you have any doubt or question Hello, am I audible? Not using anything, just tell me if you are in out or not. No, sir. Okay, you are the only one who is welcome to answer the questions. Okay. So, this is the only thing I wanted to deliver as far as my topic is concerned. I hope you have understood what I meant to say. I have told you that you have two topics. I have told you that you have covered it. I have told you that you have to answer the questions. And I have told you that you have to answer the questions. तर सर्वांना विनंती आहे की तुम्ही इथे ओके यस सर थँक यू वेरी मच तर एवढेच सच्चा एक्सर मध्ये तुम्हाला काय डाउट्स नाहीच आहेत 